seven new drivers have arrived at Race Canyon to take on the reigning champion, Stephen King. Has Superman met his match, or will he continue to reign in the DRC? Welcome back to Race Canyon. Here we are with the second event in the Diecast Rally Championship. You're watching the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League. There's some good looking cars out there, 3D, including that gold Ford Escort. I have a feeling that car might give Stephen King a run for his money. Yeah, it's the same model, just all decked out in gold. Besides those two Fords, we have a wide variety of manufacturers from Volkswagen, Audi, Toyota, Subaru, Morris Mini, We've even got a Fiat 500. That's a great little car. For event two, we've made some changes to the big air bonus. We now have a big air bonus line. If the front end of your car touches the ground after that line, you'll be awarded the big air bonus. It looks like there's two lines. What's that all about? Well, you might know if you actually came to a meeting. Social distancing, bro. All right, fine, you got me there. We have a new max air bonus line. Ooh. If any part of your car touches after that line, you will get two points instead of one. That's a big gap right there. I'm curious to see if anyone even gets close in this first round. Up first, we have rookie driver Alan Willoughby driving the Volkswagen Polo R WRC. He's driving for 3D Bot Maker Racing. That's a great looking car. That one's not a Hot Wheels, right? That one's actually made by Majorette. I believe it's the first Majorette to ever take the track in the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League. That was a solid run for Alan Willoughby. It looked like he might have got the big air bonus, I'm not sure. Well, good news, we've actually added a slow-mo finish cam to the finish line. A slow-mo finish cam? When did we get that? Once again, we had a production meeting. Look, man, I'm not trying to catch anything and ruin these golden pipes. It was a video conference, 2D. Uh, it's still social. Alan Willoughby comes up a little bit short of getting that big air bonus. He'll end the round with four points. Up next in the number two Fiat 500 is Freckle 35, driving for 3D Bot Maker Racing. That Fiat 500 could be a speedy little car. The only concern I have is the short wheelbase. We'll have to see how he does on the jump right here. Uh -oh. He loses control. Oh! And just like that, we've got our first wreck in event two of the DRC. It was a little wreck for a little car. A longer wheelbase is gonna give you better stability when you come off of that jump. You can see right there, that's where he lost control. He rolled onto the gravel and just fell over. You know, he actually caught some nice air coming over that first hill. Yeah, everything was looking good until he landed. We also have another update. We had some concerns over driver safety. Who's that out there on the track? It's the track safety crew. When did we get, oh, the meeting. Yep. Freckle 35 ends round one with two points. Keep in mind that all the drivers will be advancing on to the next round. I think this driver might be the one to look out for 3D. It's Kid Do Not in the Ford Escort Rally, driving for Sub 4RA Racing. That car certainly has a lot of gold. Gold paint job, gold wheels. Well, you know me, I love gold. The taste of it, the smell Whoa, of it. Look wow. at that big air right there. That's what I'm talking about. Kid Do Not making a big impression on his first appearance in the DRC. We've got to see a replay of that jump. Look at that, he got his front wheel off the side of the track got back on and went soaring through the air for the big air bonus. He came pretty close to that max air bonus line. Let's take another look. Nice. Right in between the two. That big air bonus is gonna put Kid Do Not in first place with five points. Once again, it looks like the Ford Escorts are going to rule Race Canyon. Up next, we have the current DRC champion. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's, it's Superman. Superman Stephen King. Kid Do Not just put on a big performance. Let's see what the Superman can do. Stephen King certainly knows his way around this track. He is the DRC champion. Look at that air off the first hit. This table. looks good. Here he goes. Whoa! Whoa. Was that a max air? Uh -huh. I don't know, that was wild. Stephen King sending a message to Kid Do Not. The champ is here and he is not here to play. Just look at how well he navigates around the track. Wow. That gives him the speed for those big air jumps. We're gonna need to take a look at the finish line replay to really see if he got that max air or not. That right there is a thing of beauty. Looks like he came up just short of the max air line. Let's take one more look at it. Yeah, the front end just touches before the line. When I first saw that line, I was wondering how in the world are they going to jump that far? But after that right there, I think we're going to see a max air in this event. Stephen King tying Kid Do Not for first place with five points. Up next is the first Audi in the DRC. We've got Justin Rule's 04 in the Audi Quattro 
driving for Sub 4RA Racing. That looks like an 80s model of the Audi Quattro, and this is actually a Matchbox. Nice, so we have Hot Wheels, Major, and Matchbox representing in this event. Justin rules with a smooth run so far. Not a lot of air, but that was a solid performance. Kind of reminded me of the Stratos in the last event. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Justin rules can have the same type of consistency throughout all the rounds. Here he comes over that hill. You know, that was a pretty smooth jump. He just didn't have the distance or height to get the extra point. Justin Rules will tie Alan Willoughby in the VW Polo with four points. We still got three drivers to go. Up next, we have Paul R. in the Toyota Supra. He'll also be driving for Sub 4RA Racing. If you like NASCAR, check out the Sub 4RA YouTube channel for the Adult Diecast Racing Cup. Rumor has it that you're actually driving over that cup this year. That's right, the number 25 Big Johnson car. Paul R. approaching the finish line. Weak sauce. Yeah, that was a little lackluster at the end. You know, you gotta give a break for the rookie drivers. This is their first time. That is a big hill at the Come end. Come on, man. You gotta go big or go home. It's still a solid run. He gets four points. It just might be his strategy to feel out the track and see how things are before he really hits it. We've got a three-way tie between Alan Willoughby, Justin Rules, and Paul R., each of them with four points. Up next, driving for Dave Akers Customs is Hasman Noor in the Subaru Impreza WRX. Isn't that a premium model Hot Wheels car? Yes, we have swapped the wheels on that one to plastic wheels so it could actually race on the track. Yeah, rubber tires may look good, but they are terrible on the track. Hasman Noor loses control as he approaches the finish, and he does not make it. What a shame. That looked like a solid run until he started bouncing off the walls. Hasman Noor, only the second driver to not finish the course today. We had a lot more drivers not complete the course in the last event. I remember reading the comments. Yeah, some people just don't get it. This rally course is meant to be challenging. That's what makes rally racing different than driving on a smooth racetrack. You're preaching to the choir, bro. Has Menor down at the bottom of the chart, one point above Freckle 35 with three points. Our last driver is the Hungarian Polar Bear driving in the Morris Mini for Sub 4RA Racing. I don't know why, but it seems like the Hungarian Polar Bear should be in a, a bigger car. I don't know. Is he a big guy? I mean, I, I've never seen him. Well, maybe you should be so judgmental. Wow. Really? We're going there? I'm just saying, don't judge a book by its cover. You seriously want to go there? I mean, you kind of have a history of that. Is this about the Fiero? It was a damn good car. We don't have time for this. I told you in the beginning, you know what? it was going to be good. Yes, yes, it was a good car. Crazy Jimmy is the greatest. Are you happy now? Yeah, I'm good. Well, I'm glad we got that out of the way because we missed what happened to the Hungarian polar bear. Apparently, he's just way too big for that car and he flipped right over. Too big? You just made it's a big obvious. deal about... Polar bears are big. Okay, well... Stephen King and Kid Duna on top of the boards with five points. Alan Willoughby, Justin Rules, and Paul R. with four points. Hasman Noor has three points, and Freckles 35, and the Hungarian Polar Bear are tied at the bottom with two points. Up next in round two, the drivers will be going head-to-head. -head. The bottom two drivers in points after that round will be eliminated. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Rally Championship. I know it's a stressful time all over the world right now. We just hope we can make your day a little bit brighter. Stay strong. Keep on racing. And we'll see you on, on the, the track. track.